Hey everyone. Rocket says hi. So I just uh, I just bought a Inspiron 15 5000 in uh, 5515. Uh, that's a mouthful with the Ryzen 7 5700U and uh, 16 gigs of graphics and then uh, 512 uh, gig SSD. So it says uh, Windows 10 Home. I don't really care about Pro. It has wireless AX. Uh, four cell battery, it's actually a pretty big battery, um, and then you can see there's the ports right there, so HDMI, uh, USB-C, uh, there are two USB-A's I think as well, and a media card reader, uh, I think it's a full size on this, which you know, makes sense on a laptop, uh, but let me just say, this doesn't feel very solid of a packing job, like did they even put a thing on the top, did they even put a, uh, um, a buffer on the top, but I know that people online said the same thing, but like I I expected a little better You know uh, previous laptops I had had would come with um, you know, Much bigger boxes. There's still a screen in here guys, so like, they should have uh, you know, That can still break. I understand that they don't have hard drives So there's one one issue, you know, that's resolved in shipping because it's not really any way for them to break but I mean like that's <laughs> That's just, okay. Uh, so anyways, we have, you know, separated power cable and a power brick as well. It has an LED on it, which is uh, kind of old-fashioned. No bag, so I'm going to assume that that's why it... Um, has like stuff on it, so like you know, like I maybe with this eco stuff, less plastic. No foam, just cardboard. We have uh, I don't know what that is. Quick start, maybe to prevent mold, I guess. It's not a. It's funny that they even have to say do not eat, <laughs> even though it's like this isn't even a food product. So why would you eat it? Do they say that anywhere else on the box? Uh, more stuff here. I'm just kind of thrown in here. And then we have... Come on. The laptop itself. So, let's see. I'm going to throw that. Sorry, Rocket. Uh-uh. Don't chew on that yet. Who knows if we're doing it. Okay. So it is in a bag. I'm gonna have to use, I'm gonna have to put the foam down. So let's see what we have. Open it this way. And then I'm open it this way. Shoot, I really gotta let's see that might work. Okay. So it is, uh, as you can see, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be, to be honest. Um, I thought it would be more silver, but it didn't say mist blue or something like that. Uh, I guess you could say it's blue. It's, it's, it's actually really thin. So, so this is the thing it's replacing. This is a uh, Spectre X360, an HP. Um, it kind of crapped out on me. Uh, it actually came back to life, but I said, all right, well, it's probably time anyways. So you can see, you can see there that it's pretty similar in uh, in thickness. I, the, the Spectre, I believe, is still one-tenth of an inch um, skinnier. Yeah, but they're pretty, they're pretty similar. And this is a 15, this is a 13, so. It's pretty nice to have a skinny laptop uh, in a 15 inch. The Spectre is solid build construction. It's aluminum everywhere. Like, so this is aluminum, this is aluminum. I think this is plastic. I actually just took it off. I actually just took this off to uh, get to the fan because that's what was not working. I don't know what the cause was because now it's working. But anyways, um, this is, five years old, so it's time for something new anyways. Um, speaking of which, I'm not sure about the build quality. This was a $1,100 or $1,200 laptop. Um, it has an i7-6500, I think. Um, 
the pass mark for this when you go online is five times better than the pass mark for this, the processor. So that's insane for a, and this is my daily user. Like, and same thing, I have a work laptop that's about four and a half times. It's an i7-66 um, or something like that. It's something, it's something very similar to this one, but um, in an elite book. And this is going to blow both of them out of the water in terms of raw CPU power. So build quality, I think obviously the Spectre wins. Uh, it's like I said, it's the, the metal. It's hefty. This is also one of those uh, one of those two in ones. So it flips over, has a big, nice gloss touchscreen. Um, but enough about that. Let's see what this one is. So it's solid, more solid than I thought. It does have plastic. It does have plastic bezels here, which I don't like. The the top definitely is aluminum. Uh, I don't think, maybe it is, honestly. I think this is all aluminum, except for the bottom, like the Spectre. So I think this is aluminum too. It's hard to tell. It, it's cold to the touch, which makes me think so. And it feels very similar. I think it might be a little bit skinnier, uh, thinner aluminum than my um, Spectre, which might be why, but because it feels... It actually feels very similar in weight, uh, if not even lighter, which it shouldn't be because the Spectre was supposed to be 3.1. This is supposed to be three and a half pounds. But um, so it, it actually feels a lot better than I thought it would. Um, the bottom is definitely plastic. But again, I believe it is on my Spectre, too. I just don't think uh, that, they're, that they bother to put it on like that. Um, so it looks like we have speakers here. Speakers here. Uh, feet here. Um, feet here for when it's closed. A big vent. Minimalist on the bottom says Inspiron. On the top it has Dell with a circle engraved. That's nice. Um, it says it has you know 15.6 full HD touch a touch display. That's right. This is a touch screen. It's matte. I'm a little bit nervous about that because it's probably probably a pain in the ass to clean, um, especially because this is lip right here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is not flush. My Spectre is flush, which makes it cleaning really easy. Like, no dust gets caught in there. You don't have to worry about it. So, like, I'm a little worried about that. I may just, you know, I mean, I don't use the touch screen that much anyways, especially since this doesn't, doesn't flip over, but I'll probably just use it for scrolling because that's the best way to use it, just scrolling on the side when, you're, when you got it on your lap. But um, huge touch touchpad. I like that. That's very nice. Ryzen 7, 5000 series sticker, Radeon graphics. I think this is a Vega 8. Sorry, I'm looking down at the stickers. Not that you can see that or matters, but I'm gonna keep this view because it seems pretty good. So let's turn it on. Um, I guess this is the power button. I, I I don't know why it doesn't have a indicator other than that sticker. It might be totally dead actually. Uh, hang on, let me plug it in. Okay, so plugged in, uh, I hit that button right here and it turned right on, so it was just totally flat. Not something I didn't really think about when I, uh, not the, not this it anyway, but uh, when I did when I bought the Dell instead of another HP, is that I have a bunch of HPs, uh, so I have already a lot of their adapters, which would have been nice. I mean, I use it when, you know, since my work computer is uh, an HP, and I uh, had a 17-inch HP, and then I had the Spectre, they all use the same connector. They're probably not the right wattage, but the computers are pretty good at um, at, you know, altering what they need, but so I had, you know, I didn't have to go and say, oh, I got to get the charger upstairs. I always had one on the phone uh, nearby, but um, we'll see. So anyway, so this is turned on. Hi That's, there, okay. I'm Cortana. Gonna talk to me. And I'm, I'm gonna to try and turn this down. A little sliding. Okay. So this is, man, she sounds just like a Halo Cortana. So that's good. You even got the cadence. Can we skip this? I don't care. You can see right here, this is backlit. People were saying the backlit keyboard didn't really, wasn't noticeable. I have no idea what they were looking at. I'm guessing it was off because this is just as noticeable as it is on my um, Spectre X360. And, and maybe they were talking about the older version. So still though, um, when it's on, it's on. It's like, it's, it, when, you need, when you need to have the backlight, it works. Oh, there's two levels, look at that. So bright medium off but so like yeah i don't need the backlight in a in bright lit day but it doesn't matter because like at night you, you definitely need it like i would ha never get another laptop without a um backlit keyboard ever 
Um, yeah. Okay, so, oops, I hope I selected US. So it did US. This keyboard, yes. Uh, add a second, no. Skip. All right, hey, it's already got voice commands. That's pretty cool. Let me uh, pause this while I enter my password. Okay, uh, so now it's doing some setup stuff. Uh, this was like I said, you, you're here with me doing it uh, from start to finish. I might uh, pause this because there's no point in you watching it as well um, and bring it back when it gets on and see if I can give you a little walk around. So, so first impression, let's see if the screen gets any brighter. It doesn't. It is definitely a detractor. Like this is, um, you know, this is what I noticed. Like I say, it doesn't look as good as my Spectres does um, or like, you know, my 4K monitors, uh, which are with computers. Uh, you know, like not just on the, not just on a laptop, but, um, sure. Do I have to do this? Oh, I'm doing the online account, obviously. Um, anyways, let me, let me set this up and I'll get back to talking. Okay, so it was actually, um, pretty quick to set up, um, at least to get into the main settings, uh, you know. And this feels really quick, which is great. Like, I don't notice anything. Uh, let me see here. I don't want search anymore. So the search box, goodbye. Did that not do that? No. Uh, skip. Yeah, I'll do that later. Okay. I hate pre-installed software so much. Am I not? Uh, so, okay, so I, I'm clearly just not paying attention here. Hidden, yeah, I don't know why. Like, usually when there's a checkbox, I think I'll click it to uncheck it, but. Okay, I don't want Cortana button, whatever that is. I don't want. I don't want any of these things, but I'll have to remove them. But anyways, I'll do that later. This is pretty good so far. Um, it doesn't have any of my apps yet. It does have all sorts of stuff that I'll be just uh, uninstalling. Uh, McAfee. I, I, and uh, by the way, so this um, this came. I paid five hundred and ten dollars for this after rebate and um, um, Amex deal. So five hundred ten plus tax. So it's five sixty total. Um, which is a great deal in my opinion. I mean, just from first uh, first impressions. Uh, part of that was they broke it out on the bill. They called it, you know, 40 bucks was for McAfee, stupid. And they broke out various line items like in-home support, or not in-home, it actually does, it says in-home support is for a year um, is uh, included in the warranty, but it was like 100 bucks. So the, the price breakdown of the actual thing was 500 bucks instead of the 700 bucks that I paid, you know, before I got the rebate and the Amex deal. But anyways, um, you know, at 510, 560 bucks after tax, this is a great deal uh, so far. I mean, like this is super snappy. Um, I can run some benchmarks, um, but I can just tell you right now, so far so good. And again, the biggest issue is the screen. It looks fine on inside. It, it's based on what people were saying. I was really expecting this to be terrible, and I'm looking at it like, like you know, right from. I'm looking at it from, you know, it's not, it's, it's vertical, so it's, I'm looking at an angle and I normally tilt the phone, but I tilt the screen back um, further, but um, it's, you know, it's crisp. It, the colors look fine. I don't know why people were saying those were off. I'm not a uh, graphic designer, so maybe if you have a graphic designer's eye, you can tell, uh, obviously, but um, brightness is not great, but I'm not sure if, that has something to do with the settings, and a lot of people say that that is an issue. Um, they have to like download the AMD control panel. I thought I had installed this. Uh, right. 
So download the AMD control panel, I'm guessing, like, and then that you but you'll change the log things that way. But, uh, but it's not bad. Like it's just a normal screen. Like this is no no worse than my Elite Book for work. It is no worse than any other typical non entertainment based laptop I've seen. I think it's probably not much worse than my Spectre's lap screen. The difference is the Spectre is glossy and and. and while it may not provide any benefits, I mean, I can't see the Spectre screen at all outside and it smudges like crazy. Um, but while it may not provide any benefits, the glossy screen makes it look fancier. So I think that's probably the biggest issue like with this, that it's a matte screen and it has this, this cheap looking bezel, which it is cheap looking. Um, but like I said, it's just a normal screen. So I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with it um, for normal use. And I mean, you know, most people, nowadays especially with the work from home stuff they all have monitors so like i have five monitors in my house five new monitors now two 1080ps a uh and and actually three 1080ps i forgot i went and just grabbed one from my office uh with that i don't own myself um and then a 1440p and then a 35 inch ultra wide um so i you know I'll use this on the couch on the laptop, but you know, if I'm sitting on a desk, I want to plug it into the monitor. So that's what doesn't really matter for most people if you're going to use this as a daily driver, because you're going to use a screen anyways. Or, I mean, a lot of people will at least, and and, and that's where this is ben this benefits because this processor is insane. Um, let's look at. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't have Chrome. Okay, well we'll do Edge. We'll do Edge. It's fine. Um, so let's go to so. AMD 5700U, right, this keyboard's taking a while to get used to, as you can see. Um, it's off to the left because of the full keypad. I don't really think I needed that, um, but so it's definitely going to take me a while to get to that, um, to get used to it. And also, it's the, the pad is off to the side, so as you notice, I think you can see it, I'm oftentimes, I'm thinking I'm left clicking and I'm right clicking. But So this is the processor, 16224. I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, you can. Um, if we go and look at the Intel uh, 65, 6500U pass mark. Thirty-two eighty-one. That's the processor that's in my Spectre X three sixty. Like the difference is crazy. And if you look at the single single um, whatever. It's, you know, not five times because AMD is still, you know, like they're actually now better than Intel at single core as well. This generation, I don't think they were, um, not, not this generation, this um, 50, like the 700s, the odd numbers, I guess is different, whereas this is still based on Zen 2. But either way, uh, it's still way better than this one. It's like 50% uh, better than my, than my Intel i7 that I use for work or in my Spectre. So like... And that was said, again, was what I was using daily, daily, and I still use it for work, the same similar processor, and I do multiple spreadsheets, you know, tons of data analytics, and it works fine. So this is just going to be an absolute, uh, an absolute beast. Um, our Ryzen 7, um, no, I'm sorry. Um, Passmark CPU list. I want to find this because I want to show something that's pretty cool uh, that I was looking up. Threadripper. If you go to the original Threadripper, it's at, it's at 16818. So this mobile processor is almost as good as the original Threadripper. Like that's pretty crazy to think about. I mean that was a, whatever it was, $600 processor when it first came out. And uh, that's pretty cool because that's a that's a desktop processor, it's not a mobile processor. So this is a really good, I mean, a really good laptop. I don't know why people would ever say you would know, find people don't get the 5700. It's a Zen 2. It's a lie. I said okay, well, if you can find the 5800 for the same price for 510 dollars, go for it. But you can't, and it's not like this is a slouch. This is still way better than the 4700. This is better than the 5600. This is better than the 4600. I think it's better than the 4800 too of the last generation. Probably not by much. The only thing that's worse than the 5600 uh, is the single core. And that doesn't matter. It matters if you're gaming, but it's not going to matter in any normal life. Like, like it doesn't matter. And 
especially not when you think about how far we've come. It's like I said, those, those laptops that I'm using for work on a daily basis, and as my personal laptop, those were worse than single core. So this is still better than those, and those are still top of the line processors. I mean, most people with their garbage Celerons or, or you know, anything, I mean, I don't know if anything exists from the AMD A series anymore. If it does, then I feel bad for them. But like people had those and like, this is just, it's just night and day. So I have no plans on um, doing any gaming with this. Like I said, I'll download Command and Conquer probably and maybe Roller Coaster Tycoon, but that's about it. Uh, it has a big enough SSD that I might try and download, might try and download Warzone uh, and use that instead of having to bring my Xbox if I travel, um, like for extended periods of time. And again, that's a might because that's a big game and I don't really want to take up 100 gigabytes of space for no reason. And I would imagine this can't play it very well. But um, if I did that, I would not use this screen. I would have a monitor because... Um, you know, anywhere I travel um, for that period of time, actually. Uh, I'm, I'm such a nerd that I actually buy monitors and leave them places like a family. So I said, hey, you can use this monitor with your personal computer, but I need to use it when I come up and work or, uh, or game. So anyways, uh, I would probably use that monitor to free sync and all that stuff. I'm assuming this has free sync. I'm not sure. But, um, but like, this is really good, you know. Like, it's a little bit... It does that. I don't know. I think it's because of the way it has it set up. I don't know if you can see it, but like when you open this, it folds down to, to make like a little bit of a kickstand. I'm not sure. That's kind of a gimmick of mine. It lets it be skinnier when it's closed because there's like no feet. I mean, there are feet, but like it's, it's, there's no gap. Um, others were saying that the, yeah, you can see them up there. The, the vents right there. The vents go uh, onto the screen, which is, you know, it seems fine. I don't know why you can feel them. You can feel the heat come out of there. It's, I mean, we'll see if that's an issue. It remains to be seen. So when I tilt this back for my optimum viewing angle vertical, it's it's perfectly bright. So, the, the, you know, you tilt it down like that. Uh, let me do side by side. It definitely has diminished. It definitely has diminished based on how you turn it. But I do believe it's an IPS or the same technology as IPS because I think that's a trademark of LG. They call it wide viewing angle. It's not a problem. Like you can still see everything on the screen perfectly. And I'm at probably a pretty, from this angle, I'm probably at what? Yeah, I don't even know. 70 degrees, something like that. So you can see it side to side, and I think it sets 180 degree um, viewing angle, like left to right, which is not probably not true, but it might be like very close to that. Um, but it's not bad. It's really low. I, I was expecting a terrible screen. And then another cool thing, I don't know if you can see this, let me, eh, is that there is a built-in webcam uh, shutter so that you can have that off instead of putting tape over it, which is good because it has a very small bezel, so you have to get a very small piece of tape. Supposedly has multiple microphones up the top. Um, I have never used a webcam for anything uh, on my personal laptops. I've used it for work when required, uh, and I still don't use the microphones. We have to call in because it's you know pretty terrible regardless. I'm assuming this is terrible. I uh, don't know what the quality of the webcam is. Like I said, I've never used it for personal. I don't even like doing it on my phone, but I just don't understand the, 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 you know, why people like that, but, but teach their own, I guess. Um, still, it does have a webcam. It does have a shutter, which is nice. Uh, port wise, it has the full size SD card reader, a USB A. Let me close this so I can do it easier. It's still plugged in. And on this side, we have a USB C, another USB A, HDMI. And they are full size HDMI's. On the back, nothing. Just the hinges and then the kickstand things. Um, honestly, I, I'm I'm very happy with this. I really did think, I really did think this was going to be awful. 
like the, the and, I, and I think the reason why is because people saying it was awful don't actually own it. They were looking at the specs and going, oh, this is awful. This is, uh, you know, full HD. It is only 1080p, but that's fine. It's better for battery life. I mean, you know, anything under, you know, probably, certainly anything under 20 inches, you don't need it. Even under 24, you don't really need anything more resolution than that. But um, a screen this size, there's no problem. I mean, it, you, you'd get more columns for Excel or something, but I'm not going to do any work on that um, with a monitor. But... But I think the people that are complaining about it just don't have it. They're just looking at the specs and they're saying, they, they say WVA, which is what it's listed as, which stands for wide viewing angle. Um, let's see. All right, so that worked. Second try again. I, I'm, I'm just bad at uh, fingerprints, I guess. It's, I don't really use them anymore. Uh, I remember back in the day when they had them at the bottom of your laptop like that and you swipe them and those never worked. So that definitely works better than that. Um... I'm trying to think, I don't think there's really anything else I can do. Let me uh, download Steam and we'll do a uh, their stress test and see what that comes back at. Okay, so I've downloaded Steam, downloading Counter Strike to do the whatever the hell it's called, the stress test. I mean, there's probably something else to do, but and then I also downloaded Geekbench. Uh, one thing I'll note is I downloaded Core Temp as well. And by the way, everything is downloading insanely quickly. This is clearly is extremely fast. Uh, extremely fast um, internet and storage. I mean, this thing's going, this thing's going, you know, gangbusters, 20, 20 megabytes per second, not megabits, megabytes. So no wonder why it's going quick. Um, and all the software installs immediately, it's, it's awesome. So let's try running this, but I did notice that this runs, it runs pretty hot. Like you can see, I haven't done anything yet and it went to 74. Maybe it's automatically going into hardware acceleration when I open things, but like 50 seems pretty hot to me. I'm not that well versed on laptop temps, but I know if I were to, uh, if my desktop ran that hot, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> You know, certainly 74, I think I, that, that would be, I don't think I'd ever even get that hot, to be honest, but I, you know, I do have liquid cooling on that, um, but it's an old, it's an old, old bulldozer core, it's that, it's the 8 core, um, so it should run a million degrees, but with all my fans and my liquid cooling, it, it's much, it runs much cooler than that, but I know, you know, these are thin and light laptops, not a lot of cooling, but, so right now it's running at 62 degrees uh, Celsius, 64, 65, I'm just doing Geekbench, I, I don't really know. I've never done this before. Oh, 70, so it's jumping up temp wise. Um, let me see if you can see this. Get that a little closer. I don't know why it's listing to the right there, but okay. You can probably see it now. And it's in the wide camera view, so it might be a little warped, but the screen is not. So 65, you know, went up to 77, 28 watts power. Um, I don't know how long this normally takes, but we're going to let it run. Um, I will say that the keyboard it takes some getting used to. It's, uh, I think it's recognizing what I'm typing. I think I'm just typing a little bit, um, you know, lighter than I would because I think the HP Spectre keyboard is better. Um, and I do think there is a little bit of flex. If you go up here, there's definitely a little flex on the actual keyboard itself. I thought it might be because of the kickstand and the gap underneath it, it's not. Um, I put a book under there and it's still flex, so there's actually is some space between the top and whatever supporting it. Unless you're gonna push on it like that, I don't think you're gonna notice. Um, certainly if you have it in your lap, you're not gonna notice because it's not like a hard surface. But, um, you know, there are, there are gonna be corners that were cut, you know, to get a computer with the Ryzen 7 5700 with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 SSD. Um, you know, and you know, the newest wireless and the uh, back of the keyboard, fingerprint sensor. Um, you know, there's going to be some corners cut, and I think it really is uh, on build quality. I don't even think it's the screen, to be honest. The screen looks fine to me, so I think it is, uh, you know, just a little bit of plastic here and there. But, um, and this was a not, this was a thousand dollar laptop, you know, I got it was on sale for 700, so who knows how real that is, but it might be more like that's the normal price, but. Sticker price was nine hundred fifty dollars, you know, plus tax. So it's not a cheap laptop as they claim it. It's um, you know seven hundred bucks is certainly a good deal. So I went up to eighty five. By the way, that's pretty hot. <laughs> um, I haven't downloaded any new BIOS or anything, so it could change. But so here you go. 
This is straight up out of the box. Uh, that seems a little low. Um, could be because of BIOS. Uh, that seems okay, 5941. Um, yeah, that seems actually pretty good, to be honest, based on what people are saying. So I don't really have any idea what these mean, <laughs> but here you go. I mean, I'll, I'll scroll slowly so you can see them all. And this is CPU, I, we can go do, I, I, this touchpad is not great, by the way. Whoa. I'm not sure what just happened, but you saw at the bottom, like everything kind of uh, restarted. Hmm. Heat might be an issue, but I'm going to update the BIOS, because that could be why people are saying that, like, or once you download the AMD utilities. Um... So if these numbers make any sense to you, then uh, you can, you know, pause on them as you're going down. They don't mean anything to me because I don't usually benchmark my own stuff because I don't really care. Um, and I don't play PC games anymore, really. I play on an Xbox because it's just simpler. I used to be the guy that upgraded his graphics cards every every five seconds. Uh, and then uh, you got bills to pay and you can't do that, so... Uh, just the Xbox is cheaper. Everybody's on the same. Everybody used to be on the same thing. Then they allowed cross-platform. So, um, so here you go. Here's all the specs that I just got from running it. Like I said, I've done zero updates. Uh, you were you've been with me the entire time. Um, so this might get better. Um, this looked like it was in line with what I expected. I I thought that this would be a little bit higher, but um, again, I don't really know. Compare set baseline. What does this do? Just did. I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I guess that's that maybe for future tests. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go back to this. Uh, let's go play some Counter Strike and see. Uh, and by play, I mean run that test and see what happens. Okay. It's been so long since I played this game. I don't even know if anybody still plays it. Video. 1080. Uh, it shouldn't be 16.9. It should be. No, I guess I don't really know which one it is. Is it 16.9 or 16.10? It must be 16.9. Um, advanced. It, setting recommended for my system. So it's recommending all these systems. High. Uh, high, not very high, high, reflect world, which is okay, high, enabled, uh, no anti-aliasing, I don't know what that is, but I know that that's, you know, that's something that only good graphics cards, you know, back when this game came out could support, so I guess the integrated doesn't really have that uh, filtering mode, uh, I'm not sure why we wouldn't do that, but motion blur disabled, I guess that's what you want when you're playing anyways. And then uh, multi-core rendering is, is good. That might be a new, fa a new uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, this, this, this might not really be a good benchmark because I know this game is, is ancient. Um, but at least we'll see what it kind of gets for, for frame rates. I think, you know, I don't know what, if, it's, if it's limited. Shouldn't this, show, shouldn't this show the frame rates up the top? I guess I, I would need to download Fraps for that, but so like it's uh, you know it's going through. This looks pretty good, I guess. I don't really know. I mean, uh, it's been so long since I've looked at this. It actually, it honestly, it doesn't look. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, my graphics cards on my computer are old. They're tw they have twin fifty seven seventies in Crossfire. I think they have about they have one gig each of VRAM, so probably. You know, there's two gigs. I don't know what the loss is for Crossfire, but I, I would say that that you know, from from recollection, looked better than this. I guess that's not surprising, but at least this is going through pretty quickly. I don't notice any stuttering, so I think it means that it can play the games. Uh, you're not looking, and by the way, this is not what it looks like. Um, you're looking at it at an angle. It's definitely the color is not off like it's showing on the phone. Look on the phone screen. So two hundred and thirty four. 0.2 frames per second is what it said we can do. 
Um, that's pretty good. I mean, we were on high settings, not, you know, there's one that was ultimate. I know this is such an ancient game, but this is just what I would use. So, so that's a good, if you want to have, if you have a system and you want to benchmark it to see if it's, uh, if it's, you know, the same as this, then, uh, or whatever, then you can absolutely run that and, and you'll find out. That's cool. I'm actually glad to know that I didn't expect it to be that much. So this might be able to run some, you know, more AAA titles. Um, yeah. So let's try the one more thing before I let you go. And let's do this. I'm not sure what this is. Run compute benchmark. I think that the, when that screen did the goofy, um, like, half restart, I think that's what happened. I think it was uh, Geekbench was throwing stuff off. Um, I should probably close out of this stuff. Actually, I don't know if it matters. Let's see what that came to. So still 85. So Geekbench was still the was still the temp draw on this uh, maxing at 85. Counter Strike uh, stress test didn't reach that, but like I said, I'm not. I don't have much experience in Geekbench, so it, you know it's not going very. I don't know if it's fast or slow or whatever. Um, but we'll see. And again, I don't know what these numbers are going to represent in terms of comparison, but at least you'll have them. So open CL score of 14278. Again, whatever that means. Um, max frequency 4341. Doesn't tell me device memory. Six gigs. Uh, is that, uh, is, does that allow, no, that can't possibly mean that that's allowing us to use that much VRAM, right? Um, I mean, a 16 gig system, two sticks, so maybe, but I, I highly doubt that. So I have no idea if these are good or not, but, but here they are. And like I said, there's been no updates to this, so I don't know if it'll get better or whatever, but, um, they're supposed to be 13... I'm not sure why it's showing a 1600 megahertz. It's supposed to be 3200 megahertz RAM, but maybe uh, I don't. I honestly don't know enough to to question whatever that is. But um, not anymore, at least. But so yeah. So that's what comes when you do the compute. This was a kind of a pretty long review, but I think there weren't that many on the internet. So hopefully it helps. Um, this has so far been great. Like uh, the only only comment I have, screen is fine by the way. Don't listen to anything. We're inside. At least you see I have lights on. It's not that bright, but like the it's not bright in this room. But I, I you would have no issue seeing anything inside of a building. Um, outside, I mean, I can go outside. And it's, I'm in Florida. We wouldn't be able to see anything. I have no doubt in my mind that I don't see anything on my Spectre ever when I bring it outside. I hardly see anything on my phone when I go outside because it's just so bright. Um, and I'm sure my phone is much brighter than either of these laptops. But, um, but so the screen's fine. I wouldn't even think think twice about it. Get it out of your head. I mean, if you can get over that, it's a matte and it has this bezel, which I didn't like the bezel and I, I wish it was flush. Um, if you can get over that, then then there's nothing. There's no reason to, to not like this. The screen looks fine. Um, Although, is there a mark on it? Huh. I'm gonna have to look at that. It doesn't look like a dead pixels. It looks like a cross. Huh. Well, we'll see. So if that does have it, we might, we might be sending it back regardless. But I'm going to try and, uh, you know, wipe it off the Windex or something just in case. But, um, yeah, but other than that, other than if that is an actual issue, not just a smudge on the screen, uh, it looks fine. Um, and, uh, see, my, my biggest complaint would be the build quality. You know, my only complaint, really. Uh, and then the temperature. But, you know, it doesn't feel hot, but I can tell it's probably going to be hot up here. Uh, it's actually not, but... Um, I don't know what temperatures it can, you know, safe to run at. It's down to 38, you know, it's probably going to idle around 30. Um, you can tell the fan went really quiet now. So I don't know about the temps, if that's normal range or whatever for a, for a current modern laptop. But um, my complaint would just be the build quality on the, um, like the flex, the keyboard really. Like this shouldn't, shouldn't be able to push down um, in my, I mean, most laptops, I guess you can't plastic, but you couldn't on this one, on my Spectre, which is... Uh, 
you know, here. So like my garbage, I mean, it's not a garbage specter, but my specter here, oops, that's not the specter. That was me moving the stand. Ooh, look at that. So this is, this is, I wonder what hurts it is to cause that, that this one isn't. Um, I don't know what this records at. I would imagine the specter is better. So like no flex at all, because this is, this is solid machined aluminum. Like, it's better. It's just better, unfortunately. You can see the bezels on the specter are huge. Um, and it's so, so glossy that you can see the chandelier. Uh, and my lights very clearly. So um, now this is the 1080p Spectre, so it's not the it's not the QHD one that they had at the time. It's 2016. Um, but you see, it's the same picture between the two because I'm just using whatever the the thing was, and like glossy, and then matte. So like the glossy makes it look better, I think, and that just gives a premium feel, but I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it, uh, with either screen. You know, I think it's just uh, the people we, we've got grown accustomed to everything being, you know, like this is, this is hard. This is matte. I mean, I would prefer, I prefer to have the hard just because for a touch, for a touch screen mainly. You know, but most monitors aren't hard. Obviously, they're 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 matte. Um, but so there's the two that you can see the difference between. So let's see if we can go viewing angle on that. It goes pretty far. And viewing angle on this. I mean, same story, honestly. Like, so I think they're definitely both IPS screens because I don't think I'd been able to do that if it was not an IPS screen. Um, and I know this one is. So. Um, there's the two, there's replacements, like some massive bezels, skinny bezels, um, better build quality on the Spectre, which I'm replacing, way better performance on this. It's not even close. Um, I don't have Counter-Strike on this, and I have, I have two, 256 mega, gigabyte SSD, so I don't even have the space right now to, uh, to install it, but um, it would be, be way worse, I'm sure, anyways, because Intel, Intel integrated graphics have always sucked. I mean, they might be getting better now, but they certainly sucked when I got this uh, Spectre, but it wasn't purchased for that reason. But anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed this review. I have a history of rambling. You know, I like talking and uh, I just kind of say whatever comes to my mind, but uh, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm going to, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried about that screen thing though. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. You can see that little splotch right there. But um, I hope that's not dead pixels because then I'll have to send this back after you're just setting it up. But um, it might be. It might be. But other than that, there's been no issues. Um, and uh, it's it's pretty good. So, all right. Well, I would say buy it. if you except, Especially if you have the same deals that I do, that 10% cash back in the Amex deal, you can get it for 510 bucks. Go for it.